Hola! Welcome back to another Spanish lesson with Senor Geis. In this video, we're going to be talking about some spelling changes that you need to do when you're conjugating verbs that end in car, gar, or sar in the preterite in Spanish. So, verbs that end in car, verbs that end in gar, and verbs that end in sar in Spanish, when you conjugate them in the preterite tense, they have a special spelling change. They don't sound any different when you talk and when you say them out loud, but you do need to spell them differently. Some examples of verbs that end in car would be buscar, which means to search for, atacar, which means to attack, and tocar, which means to touch. Some examples of verbs that end in gar are verbs like pagar, which means to pay, llegar, which means to arrive, and jugar, which means to play. Some verbs that end in sar are abrazar, which means to hug or embrace, cruzar, which means to cross, and empezar, which means to begin or start. So like I said before, this is only a spelling change. It has no effect on how you speak Spanish, but it's a spelling change and it's only under very specific circumstances. And that is when you are conjugating a verb in the yo form. Only, this only happens in the yo form. And since we're conjugating verbs that end in car, gar, and sar, when we conjugate them in the preterite, remember this only happens in the preterite, we're going to be using the a ending, the accented e ending. So when you are changing the spelling of a verb that ends in car, as you're conjugating it in the yo form, you're gonna use the a ending, so you would think you should take off the AR and add the A, so you've got K. But the problem here is that car is said with a hard K sound, because a C next to an A makes a K sound. But when you have a C next to an E, it makes a soft S sound. So we're trying to say K, K, but when we have a C next to an E, we're trying to, what we actually end up saying is say. So we can't spell it like this, so we need to change it to a Q-U. So Q-U-E is how you spell the sound K in Spanish. So when you conjugate a verb that ends in car in the preterite, in the yo form, the car will change to K, spelled with a Q-U. When you're spelling, the, when you're changing the spelling of verbs that end in gar, you would just add the E ending but the problem is gar, G-A-R, is said with a hard G sound because a G next to an A makes a G sound. But when you have a G next to an E in Spanish, it makes a soft H sound. So G next to E sounds like G, but we want to say gay. So we can't spell it like G-E. So instead, we spell it like G-U-E. So this is how you spell the sound gay. Finally, if you're trying to change the spelling of a verb that ends in sar, when you add the e, honestly, I don't know why we do this spelling change. Probably some historical reason. And, um, but that doesn't really matter because you can't have the z next to the e when you're conjugating the yo form in the preterite. So, we're going to spell it in instead with a C-E, so say. So sar changes to say, spelled with a C-E. So here are some examples. Atacar means to attack. So all of the other forms except for the yo form, you can conjugate normally, and you should include a C. Don't spell these other ones with a Q-U. But to make the yo form, since atacar ends in C-A-R, or car, we are going to add that E ending and we can't have the E next to the C, so we're going to change it and put a Q-U instead. So we're going to say yo atake, I attacked, instead of yo atase with a C. Another example of a gar verb would be jugar, which means to play. And just like I said before, you can conjugate all of the other forms that are not the yo form regularly with a G. You should have the G in there. But to conjugate the yo form, since it ends in gar, you're going to add the ending and change the G to a G-U so that we pronounce it as hugay. Finally, 
Abrazar is an example of a verb that ends in Z-A-R. And you can conjugate all of the forms except for the O form, normally, with the regular preterite A-R endings. However, to make the yo form, you're going to take off the A-R, add the E, but since we have a Z next to an E, we need to change that Z into a C, and we've got abrace. I hugged. So in summary, when you are conjugating preterite verbs in, that end in C-A-R, G-A-R, or Z-A-R, you can't just add the E ending. You also have to change the C to a Q-U, the G to a G-U, and the Z to a C.